what's up everybody happy 2022 that that just sounds better than 2021 and 2020 i mean 2020 had a nice ring to it but you know you know what happened in that year so it kind of has a negative connotation to it but 2022 i've been excited for this year just because of the way that it rolls off the tongue kind of thing i don't know it just kind of feels like there's some years that you're just like yeah it's 2022 or like it's 1999 you know like the da 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 it just kind of has a nice like shakespearean like song sing song to it a little bit but anyways happy new year's out of the way how did we all how did we all fare on new year's did anyone do anything we didn't do anything we didn't do a dang thing and I was fine with that. I was in bed by like 10, 15. <laughs> I was in bed by like 10, 15. I don't know, I'm at an age where, like I'm, I'm not like a Scrooge for New Year's or anything like that, but just something about this year, I didn't really feel like going out. I had been up since like four o'clock in the morning as well because I worked in an AM shift. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of like, yeah, I think I just kind of want to go to bed because you know, I'm still going to wake up tomorrow and it's going to be the new year. So like, I just kind of want to like, I'll go to bed now and it'll be here sooner instead of like, you know, trying to force myself to stay awake. But anyway, so what's up everyone? Welcome into the showcase. What's up Argo Zoos? How we doing Silver Fox, Seabris, Harry Scott? What's up buddy? Good to see you. What's up Leaf? Good to see you too. Good. I'm glad you are here because I have a question for you about Zizen Pedels. Pebbles, Pedals, Pebbles. There it is. Our COVID numbers are ridiculous. Derailed my plans. Yeah, I think that was a lot of people. I think a lot of people kind of saw the COVID numbers and were like, mm, mm, I don't know about all that. Um, so yeah, yeah, basically. So you got drunk for New Year's, uh, but hey, that's what happens most. I will say, is that really any different than most nights for Senior Harry Scott there? No, it's not. I kind of went Senior, but I had like an Irish thing behind, behind it there. But um, so anyways, let's go ahead and stumble on through today's sw uh, short but sweet Today is a shorty but sweetie uh, showcase because, yeah, we have a very high quality amounts of blueprints. The modders are going nuts with their dinosaurs. SibCDC is still going nuts with the dinosaurs. Actually, I think we may have reached the end of the road for SibCDC and the dinos. They may have hoarded them all over there, basically. Um, we have a return of some penguins today. Leaf and Lion Rider decided that we didn't get enough penguins back in, what was it, springtime? So they decided to give us some more. But yeah, let's go ahead and start today off with some dinos and Sib CDC giving us the Albertosaurus. Look at this mud trucker right here. I love the um, skin design on it here. It, it's, it kind of walks a little, what are these modeled after? I don't know if um, Sib is here or not, but Leaf, you might know. What are these modeled after? Cause they do have a kind of a funny walk to them. I wish the arms kind of moved a little bit more, but I do feel like that's probably the rigging that it is assigned to. Uh, but anyways, uh, that all being said, I think it looks awesome still. That was, that's a really cool, excuse me, um, really cool model there. A really cool addition to the dinosaur. So there's the male and here's the uh, female. Again, they both look relatively the same, but you know, I'd like to show them both off there. They're based on the Arctic wolf. Interesting. I think last time someone said that some of the dinosaurs were based off of the aardvark or some crap like that. And I was like, no freaking way. Uh, but anyways, there's the Albertosaurus from a Sib CDC. Um, and again, if you haven't seen the dinosaurs, um, if I stop mentioning who they're by, all of them are by Sib CDC. All of the dinosaurs are from our friend uh, Sib CDC. So be sure to give them some love in either on Nexus or if you see them on Discord and stuff like that. Next up, let's check out the Allosaurus. One of them is in surgery at the moment. How's that look? Oh, we just missed it. That would have been all. Oh. <laughs> I wish we could have seen the Allosaurus in vet surgery. That would have been ridiculous. All right, let's uh, let them go ahead. Look, there's the turtle. You can barely see it. Uh, but here's the Allosaurus. Again, by Sib CDC. Hey, what's up there, Planet Leafy? Good to see you. Oh, speaking of Planet Leafy, you know what, buddy? I just remembered you redid your submission from last time, didn't you? Uh, let me re-download it. Because that's right, you had it on private on accident, I believe, right? Yeah, let me re-download that. And we can take a look. Where is it? I thought you resubmitted it. Not no big deal. I will just scroll up a little bit more. There you are. Leafy. Ah, here it is. Okay. I'm subscribed to the old European parade. Let me insert that into the showcase for the week so you all can download this. Uh, 
ba, ba, ba. there we go. And what is this called? European old European parade by Are you Leafy or Planet Leafy? Planet Leafy on the Steam Workshop. Planet Leafy. Leaf and Planet Leafy should do a collab together and just call it like Leaf Park or something like that. There it is. Okay, cool. I added you into the uh, showcase for the week. So we will get to that in just a little bit. Uh, anyways, here's the Allosaurus there. No, it's fine, uh, buddy. We have a shorter week this week, so we can um, I can add in another one. What's up, Luke? It's good to see you. Thanks for coming on in. But cool, there's the Allosaurus. Uh, next, Dino. Next, Dino. The Leaf Park, exactly. Oh, we, the Cougar. This is really cool. I like when uh, modders do this. Not a lot of modders, I feel like, do this, or I just don't see them. Um, but here's a reskin of the uh, current Cougar excuse me uh in game there and i think it looks really nice like it's kind of hard to tell if you haven't seen the uh, cougar recently um i was actually just kind of uh, messing around with it i uh, built a habitat and i thought i was going to use the cougar but it ended up not really fitting in um but yeah it's a little bit more it's not as bright um i guess you'd say like the in-game default cougar is kind of more of like this orangish kind of tone i feel like so they've kind of um blurred down the lot or the color of it i feel a little bit and um yeah i just feel like it looks a lot better it definitely does look a lot better uh some of the remasters you're like yeah okay you know i don't know if that was totally necessary or not but the cougar one uh right when i saw it i was like oh yeah no that's that's great oh and this is from uh, i should probably mention it shouldn't i this is from havoc 1199 and gaboy <clears throat> Havoc, um, yeah, Havoc 1199 and Gaboy. Uh, Havoc is the one that submitted it, if I'm remembering right, to the Discord channel there. So yeah, again, really, really good job on the uh, remaster there. This is one I do really rec uh, recommend. This is in the um, African Lion. The African Lion remaster, if you haven't checked that out, we showed that off a while ago. It may have been updated, so maybe we can show it off again. But the African Lion remake that... I can't remember who did it, uh, but that one looks really great as well. So good job there from Havoc, 1199, and yeah, boy. It does, yeah, I think it looks nice because it's like almost that matted down fur. Like, it doesn't look as, like, pretty, basically, you know? Like, I understand, I think we're... Uh, frontier was coming from trying to make it look kind of cutesy a little bit maybe a little bit more again like pretty but um yeah no like irl cougars there's it's a little bit darker you got those dark spots on there from like dirt and grime and stuff and it's matted down but so um but anyways next animal here this is going to be coming from seth and leaf this is the diamondback terrapin and this is um this is the Diamondback Terrapin that we have in game that is in, you know, the enclosures, the exhibit animals there. Now it's a habitat animal. And how great is this? Uh, they faced uh, the tweak too, so it looks less chunky. There you go. Yeah, so not as like the big cheeks. It almost looked like, um, what would you say, gerbil or hamster cheeks there. But look at this. I love the itty bitty, oh, excuse me, the teeny, teeny, tiny um, Terrapin here. Hey, Jonathan, happy New Year's to you as well, buddy. Um, but yeah, that is so cool. And Leaf, if I remember right, you made a teeny tiny aquarium uh, with those guys in them. And yeah, it looked really, really good. So big shout out to Seth and Leaf for getting um, getting those. And hopefully, if, if it wasn't too much of an issue, then maybe they can get some more um, of the bugs and small itty bitty exhibit animals as habitat animals. That'd be fantastic. Uh, next up, some more dinos. Let's do the Dryosaurus. Face to the tweak. No, I got you. I wanted to read it just like that. I didn't want to fix it. I was going to like correct it, but face to the tweak sounded um, authentic. You know, it adds character to it. And I think everyone knew what you meant. Am I drunk? I meant tweak the face. No, 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 no. Face to the tweak. We're going to do face to the tweak. But here's the Dryosaurus <laughs> from SimCDC. Love the, again, I love the patterns and coloration on these things. Look really, really cool. Let's see. Do you see the other one around here hanging out? I do not. I think a Spinosaurus ate the other one. Oh, no, there it is. There it is, hanging out next to its eventual, like, what, cousin or something like that back there? But yeah, again, really cool stuff from SipCDC with all the dinos. Do the turtles swim? I'm unsure. Leaf, creator of said mod, do the turtles swim? Humboldt Pangan. Humboldt Pingan. Speaking of Leaf, I believe this is from Leaf and Lion Rider. Yep, Humboldt Penguin from Leaf and Lion Rider. And I've heard of these. This is, oh geez, wrong wrong button. Uh, this is actually a penguin I've heard of there. So look at that, the Humboldt penguin. Looking all humble. 
They swim and dive. That's really cool. So you could literally make a teeny tiny little aquarium for them and they would just go nuts. That's awesome. But here, here you go. Here's the Humboldt penguin from Leaf and Light. Let me see with its mouth open. Hold on. Because the teeth inside this thing are like crazy. The profile picture that you have for it is uh, is great. Oh, look at the eyes and everything. Creepy. <laughs> nice. So there you go. Humboldt penguin from Leaf and Lion Rider. Get some more penguin species in your zoo. We've got to be up to almost over 10 modded uh, penguin species in the game. Like, what do we have more of? Humboldt is in California. Okay. Nice. I think that's why I've heard of it before. What do we have more of? More flamingos or more penguins at this point? I believe those two are like the top species. That were the the leaf you wanted a uh, deek deek, wasn't it? <laughs> there was looking through the um, old community showcase notes and there was one week where I think it was the deek deeks. You had like six of those things. Uh, next up, let's do the Yucatan spider monkey. This thing's awesome. I love this monkey. The penguins are winning the race uh, so far. Nice. Uh, next up from Leaf and Mega Gaming Rex. Look at this. We have the Yucatan Spider Monkey. Love how this thing looks. All the different, like little dukers. Maybe it was dukers. Yeah, there was something where you like submitted like six of them in one week. But I love all the personality and characteristics that these little things have. Awesome. Love that. Uh, where's the other one? Because I do believe they look a little bit different if I remember right. There it is. You were in the wrong alleyway there, little monkey man. There he is. Okay, it is, this is not the one that looks a little bit different, but still looks awesome. You can see it moving around. I love the tail. Oh, goodies. Yes, the goodies. Yes. Yes, that's totally it. I don't know why I mixed that up in the dukers or the deek deeks, but yes, the goodies. <laughs> Next up, really good stuff from Leaf and Mega Gaming Rex, by the way. That's one of my favorite mods. I don't know what it is about it, but that's one of my favorite mods that I've seen uh, on the showcase in a long time. Um, oh, I passed up the Red Crowned Crane from Bongo. Speaking of one of my favorite mods I've seen in a long time, look at these. Look at the Red Crowned Crane from Bongo Hardwood. I can't think of a bad or you know even mo uh, intermediate mod that Bongos come up um, come out with. They're always just top notch. Oh, there we go. There you go. Big lift up of the head. Love the coloring on it. That red little uh, topper on the head there. Just oh, they look fantastic. We're getting up there. Um, pretty good number of cranes now as well. And I think Bongos done the majority of them. I'm sure other modders are out there doing some cranes, but. Um, yeah, Bongo's made a good amount of cranes. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Love that. So there you go. Get some more cranes inside your uh, zoos there. Good job from Bongo. Bongo Hardwood. Up next. Whew. Spinosaurus. Back to work. Oh, yeah. Yep, I went back to work after the... 10 day quarantine, which fucking freaking, excuse me, freaking sucked because um, like three or four days after I went back to work after my 10 day quarantine, they lower the quarantine time down to five days. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, well, uh, here's Spinosaurus from SibCDC. But yeah, only lasting effect is I still can't smell anything. Look at this big old Spinosaurus. I love these guys. They're just mammoth. Hey, BHK. They're named after Alexander Humboldt. Now, who was Alexander Humboldt? Was he a explorer? Did he make like chili? What did he do? Up next, after the Spinosaurus, the Velociraptor, one of my favorite dinos. And here we have it. They're both sleepings. No, come on, let's get it. Let's wake up. We're gonna move you. I see it walk around a little bit here. There it is. Oh, there they go. So there you have the Velociraptor from SibCDC. What's the uh, Hemanondi? So are these like, oh, look, they're gonna interact with each other. So it says Hemanondi at the end of it. Are these not like based on real quote unquote, you know, Velociraptors, but like the in-gen Velociraptors? Is that what that is? They're like the, uh, the 
just genetically modified velociraptors or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, they look really cool uh, nonetheless. Love to put those in. If I was building a prehistoric park, that would have to go in. After the velociraptors. Oh, that's it. Bam. Nice. <laughs> it's a German nature scientist. Ah, nice. T-I-L. So there you go. There is all of our modded animals from our great modders. Havoc 1199, Gaboy, Sib CDC. Again, I feel like Sib might be at the end or near the end of their uh, dino upload from Jurassic World Evolution and Jurassic World Evolution 2. So if that is the case, look at them. <laughs> that was funny to see them. I think they're based off the kangaroos. Um... If that is the case, really good job from Sib porting over all of those dinos. Uh, again, this is your first um, community showcase that you're joining us with. First, hi, hi, hello. Uh, we do this every single Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, but also, yeah, SibCDC, go back through all the community showcases and check out all of the uh, dinos that they have uploaded because they've done a lot. Holy smokes, have they done a lot. I have random weather on. There we go. Uh, but cool, yeah, again, really, really great stuff from our modders this week. So let's go ahead and jump over to the blueprints. There's still 20 more left. Okay, I was giving a send off, but we still have probably like two more weeks worth of uh, showcase stuff. But nonetheless, still needs a shout out, right? So <laughs> um, first up for the showcase side of things, we're going to um, look at this U-Haul from Sawdust. And look how great this is. What a fantastic immersion of the billboards and um, just p good piece usage, you know, good in-game piece usage here. This is, yeah, this, isn't it great? It's flawless. I've never seen... Truthfully, I've never seen uh, billboards integrated into a build so seamlessly. You would think that, like, we have a U-Haul piece in the game. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, this this is insane. So, again, um, to get the immersion fully, you know, working, you do need to download... There's only two. There's literally only two images that you put into your user media folder. Because, um, yeah, if you don't, it's just going to be a blank screen. It's going to look weird. Um, but on the flip side, if you want to switch it to, like... I don't know what's another you know if you have a local haul service or there's someone you know uh, college hunks hauling junk right if you want to do that you can put their sign in there but anyways yeah it looks fantastic looks really really good uh great stuff from sawdust go ahead and get that from um, their workshop there next up speaking of super duper useful and looking sick and uh really utilizing those new um <clears throat> the what are these called i don't know the desks or whatever can't think of the name of this thing. <laughs> um, but there we go, the uh, counter. Yeah, the new counters. Look at these new Dippin' Dots and Pretzel Stands from ZZ. Look at this. He just got the new DLC early. Yeah, the U-Haul DLC. That's right, you heard it here first. Frontier and U-Haul partnering up for that long-awaited partnership. Um, but I believe that uh, ZZ is going to make a few more of these, but what a fantastic start. I love these. We just need more of these in-game officially. Um, I guess, you know, we kind of quote unquote have, can do them however we want to with these new countertops. Um, but yeah, really cool use of theming with the dip and Dots and pretzel stands here. I, um, I definitely gonna sprinkle these throughout um, my zoos and amusement parks that I'm building. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, really good stuff there from ZZ. Next up, oh, this is a really cool cover. Um, it would fit into like almost like an Arabian type feel, um, I think. But from Kezia, <coughs> excuse me, I got like a piece of hair from a mustache stuck in my throat. <laughs> um, uh, Kezia has this really, really cool uh, large decorative sunshade. And yeah, that would just look really, really nice. It might even look nice indoors um, somewhere. But yeah, there you go. Really cool sunshade to put up into your zoos. What's Dippin' Dots? Is it like ice cream? It is. Yeah, it's like freeze-dried uh, little ice cream balls. They're like smaller. They're even smaller than a pea. Uh, I don't even know what you would compare it size-wise to. Maybe like a, um, a BB. Like you put in like a BB gun. They're maybe just about that size. Maybe a little bit bigger. But yeah, they're, um, you can get different flavors. So you can get like a cookie dough one or like a chocolate one. Um, you name it. And typically they're in at least American theme parks and American malls and um you'll see them other random places but they're not huge it's kind of like a commodity type thing that like you're not gonna like go out to like the dip and dot store at least not where i'm from at least it's quite common found in zoos yeah right exactly like zoos aquariums theme parks um so it's like yeah located in those kind of areas yep so what's up virtual zoo tours good to see you buddy 
Next up from Leaf and Leaf. Here's my question. So these are gravel pieces slash Zen pebbles from Leaf. Um, and these are items that are from Planet Zoo Plus. Now, do you, do you need Planet Zoo Plus to download these is my question, Leaf. Or can you just download it willy nilly without having Planet Zoo Plus? Um, but yeah, these are all pieces that were supposed to be in game, but Frontier did not add them in for whatever reason. And Leaf and company, to my understanding, correct me if I'm way off, uh, have added them in for us. And you can just download these off the workshop there. You do not need PZ Plus to download them. Yes, yeah, so that's fantastic. So we have these gravel pieces basically officially like back in game. <laughs> um, so yeah, you just go hit subscribe like normal and you can just place them into your uh, zoos. You know, it's as if it was just like a blueprint item um, there. So they're in the game, but they're not unlocked, quote unquote. So you can use these in normal unmodded game and just duplicate it. There you go. There you go. So you can just start duplicating it around just like this. Um, and yeah, I think that's so, so cool. And if we can do that with more items, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, really innovative and really cool addition to the game there from Leaf. I'm gonna use the heck out of those. Uh, Cause if y'all don't, if y'all kind of recognize it, that's the same pattern from the gravel path. And a lot of us, what we'll do is, you know, we'll make like little flower beds almost using the paths and uh, put like flowers and stuff inside of them. So now instead of using paths, which can be kind of a bitch to uh, work with, now we have these pieces, which are just so much easier. So, <clears throat> excuse me, gosh, I have something stuck in my throat there. Uh, but cool, let's go ahead and jump on out. Again, big shout out to all of our modders. The, uh, the mod scene is amazing for Planet Zoo there. So big shout out to all of you for what you do. And uh, yeah, workshop items, fantastic stuff there. Really useful um, items for everyone's zoos. So let's go ahead and back on out. We will check out uh, two. We have two, unless Planet Leafy's thing was a workshop item i just thought of that i kind of assumed it was a oh it was it was a uh, thing let's jump back in my bad uh they have to be in specialized extra cold freezers so they don't melt this is uh concerning dipping dots uh which is why they are mostly in theme parks and zoos okay so like theme parks and zoos kind of have those specialized freezers on deck on hand ready to go uh okay so let's see it was called old european right old european something there it is, Old European Parade. And I remember Leafy, our Planet Leafy said that they were inspired from my old, or my old, um, my Planet Zoo Year Pack Mini Zoo uh, series that I have going on right now. So it's kind of cool to see some uh, inspiration, see what they can do with it. Oh, you know what this looks like? This is awesome, uh, first off. It looks like um, Peter Pan's flight facade. It's a blueprint, yes, 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 yes. That's pretty cool that you fit all this into a blueprint. Uh, but yeah, this looks like Peter Pan's um, flight facade at Disneyland or Disney World there. That's awesome. I love this uh, style there. So yeah, if you all want to get uh, this put in, it's a nice facade, really. You can put in a lot of uh, different restaurants and you know facilities and stuff like that inside there. So aren't the poison barrels from the South America scenario? Yes, BHK, but they aren't purchasable, which is so lame. So lame. So, oh, is that what it is, Planet Leafy? Oh, that's awesome. You did a really good job at it. I could tell like immediately uh, what it was. Hello, daddy. <laughs> so yeah, really good stuff there from Planet Leafy. I did update the uh, description and everything down below. So if you'd like to download that, you can also grab that uh, from Planet Leafy there. Yes, you have, Harry. You have seen that at Disney, exactly. Uh, cool, but let's go ahead and check out, whoops, the uh, one and only park that we have this week, which is going to be from Lucas. Lucas070 coming in hot with another diorama. I believe that is two weeks in a row with dioramas. And this is going to be the Serengeti diorama, and that's what you, the uh, thumbnail for today is, actually. This is one of my favorite ones that Lucas has done. This is definitely one of my favorite ones that uh, Lucas has done. Hey, Leaf, speaking of you guys taking um, different things from the game and re-putting them in, uh, would you be able to go into facilities, like staff room facilities, and take those things out? You know, like the computer screens and posters and 
all that kind of stuff because you know that stuff's really freaking cool uh all right cool but um in the meantime let's take a look at the serengeti diorama from lucas 070 and look at this everyone look at this the grass like the, yeah the grasses and just the little oasises and the little river running through is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I love this. This is maybe my favorite diorama that they've done. Love the rock, um, like mud rock walls along the riverbanks. And yeah, just look at all the different um, biodiversities on the river uh, riverbeds, riverbanks, everything, and the hippos in the middle. Yeah, look at that. That's some TAF. Oh, look, I didn't even realize that there was lions over here. I completely missed that first time through. Oh, look at him. He's going to go up on the, the rock. I would, have, I would have used the lion as the uh, thumbnail picture if I would have known that there were lions in there. That's awesome. <laughs> don't don't talk to Esty and you'll encourage him to say something back. And then the stream will be all, all off, off kilter. Hey, Savannah. How you doing? That is a lot of hippos. You would not want to be down there. You would get crushed. These are Thompson's, right? Thompson's gazelle appreciation, please. I feel like these, these bad boys here that have been with us since Alpha don't get enough appreciation. They're beautiful. It's a beaut clock. <laughs> uh. Hey, uh, Raphael. Yes, no problem. Thank you for submitting it. Um, everyone agreed that it looked uh, much, much better than the base game one. We really liked the changes that you made. So yeah, thank you. Uh, but yeah, again, really good job there from Lucas. If this is your first thing you're seeing from uh, Lucas as far as dioramas goes, uh, look, at we've made it to row two. But yeah, uh, they have done now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different dioramas. So be sure to check out their workshop page or actually just download this one file. They're, they just keep updating the same file with all of the um, different dioramas on there. So yeah, if you go ahead and subscribe to this one file one time, every single time that they update it, um, you know, the file will update for you. So you can kind of go back and check and get some awesome inspiration uh, from Lucas there and his amazing diorama. Oh, you're having, nice. What's up, buddy? Hey, Elle, welcome on in. Happy New Year to you as well. So there you go. But I know it's a little bit shorter. That does officially wrap up this week's uh community showcase so yeah there you go but before we do go i'd like to announce let's get let's get right down here i'd like to announce a new project this isn't like the official announcement i'm gonna have like a video out on it and everything like that but essentially we've gotten to a point in planet zoo on the a showcase speed room. I know it is right. We've gotten to a place on the workshop where I can build an amusement park in Planet Zoo, and I would like to do that. <laughs> so uh, let me just show off a few of the items that I'm going to be putting into this. But yeah, it's going to officially be called. I've started work on it uh, last night and this morning. Uh, it's going to be a small family-run amusement park. Um, and yeah, it's going to have two coasters in it and a handful of flat rides. It's going to have a petting zoo as well. So it won't just be a, a amusement park or theme park. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a petting zoo in it as well and a bunch of other fun little things. But yeah, it's going to be based around if you're familiar with like Knobles, um, Idlewild. Um, what's my inspiration that I'm actually looking at? Lake, Lake Compounds. Uh, kind of holiday world but that's even a little bit too big but yeah we're talking like really small so uh just to show off some of the inspirations and everything that i'm taking or uh builds that i'm gonna be working with here and again i've already started this is not the map i'm not gonna show off the map or anything quite yes quite yet but um you know i'll show off the blueprint items that i found on the workshop that i'll be using so this is wildcat made by silent member Shout out to Silent Member. 
Um, and this looks so freaking good. This looks just like Planet Coaster, except, you know, upgraded graphics and everything. So I'll probably change the colors a little bit. So that's going to take a long ass time. <laughs> but, um, and, you know, we'll uh, theme it up and everything. But there's going to be the main roller coaster for the park. Um, big old classic wooden roller coaster. And then we also have the zoom. There it is. This will be the most like current roller coaster. So if you're familiar with roller coaster uh, timelines and everything, this will show that we're not doing a modern park because yeah, this is probably built in like the mid '90s, basically, <laughs> like 30 years ago. Um, but yeah, this will be the other coaster in the park. Look at this. Look what people are doing. And this is the same game, by the way. I didn't switch over to Planet Coaster, just so you're aware. This is still the same game, and people are making this. This was actually a few DLCs ago, so I'm sure if they went back and made it again, you know, they could make it look even somehow make it look even better but look at that big old boomerang we'll do that and then we also have we have a drop tower that i'm gonna make a little bit taller than it is right now but awesome drop tower this is a belief from sim 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 antic i can't remember how to pronounce their name exactly but yeah we have a really cool drop tower ride uh, the other ones, I'm going to have to kind of just search through, so just kind of bear with me here. I have a lot of blueprints, as you might imagine. <laughs> we'll have the classic carousel, of course. Shout out to Mr. Domez for making this uh, for my Brookfield Zoo recreation that I abandoned over here, over a year ago. We'll put a carousel underneath here, too. I already have the blueprint picked out for it to go underneath there. But there's the carousel cover for our classic carousel. I would also like to do, um, Cedar Point and other places do this, I like to have a train museum. So... Uh, we'll do that as well. Probably feature one of these trains that I found off of the workshop that are done really, really well. And yeah, again, we'll probably have a train um, museum inside of the uh, the place. And we'll also have a train kind of running around it too. And we'll use these uh, pieces here to build the train out. Uh, where I saw here. Yeah, we're going to have a... Um, we're not going to have the hump and bump, but I love that name. <laughs> but I'm mainly going to use these because these... Um, Bumper cars, the actual cars themselves look really, really good. So I'm gonna take just the cars here and um, make some bumper cars. Oh, where's the other ones that I'm really, really excited about that got me thinking about it yesterday? There's two blueprints uploaded yesterday from Simnant Simnantic, there he is. There it is, the Dizzy Cups, <clears throat> do these as well. This, this is Planet Zoo, I need to up my game. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, food truck festivals, yes, exactly. I wanna do that kind of stuff. I wanna have an amphitheater. Uh, there's the Dizzy Cups. Um, so yeah, a whole bunch of like really fun stuff there for like a really small family, you know, local theme or amusement park, not a theme park. That's the thing is there's a big difference between a theme park and amusement park, right? We'll probably bring in the Jazzy Franks. Who remembers the Jazzy Franks? We'll probably bring them back. Speaking of the Jazzy Franks, I was talking to S Dork last night. We're going to bring back Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve as well. We both decided that uh, this, this Europe pack is... Heck it great. Probably one of the probably the best building pack that we've gotten since Africa, essentially, <laughs> which was like the last scenery pack. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna probably jump back into some Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve as well and uh, get get back into the swamp there. It's time to get some swamp building done. So no no ETA on that ETA on that because uh Estan is really into his like wizard builds right now and his chamber builds. If y'all haven't seen that, do go check out his wizard and chamber builds. Um, oh, here's the other one. This is one that really got me inspired yesterday. I saw this and I was like, yup. Uh, but yeah, here's the scrambler, which basically goes like this. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, I think that was basically the last one. There's a few other ones that I can't think of. Oh yeah, we'll have some tram rides too. There's a few other little rides and little things here and there, but I can't quite think of them off the top of my head right now. But so, but um, but anyways, yeah. So I just wanted to make that little quick announcement that yeah, uh, Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve will be coming back here in the next um, probably week or two, depending when we kind of get um, our heads wrapped around that. And also, yeah, the uh, the Bet the Benton is that it? Yeah, the Benton family or Benton Amusements. I think that's what I landed on because I I was wanted to do Benton Family Amusement Park, but you can't fit that into the the name thing. Um, so I might end up calling it that, like on the official name. Uh, like entranceway or something like that but for the park file names consideration it's Benton amusements <laughs> so um but anyways yeah there you go you can expect all that kind of fun stuff in the next little bit there yep coming back in 2022 confirmed and just you know you know how sdn and i are we might get into it you know both do like 
one building and then be like, okay, that was fun. <laughs> and then not do it again for a little while. So, um, but we're hoping that we're gonna have a lot of inspiration from the um, Europe pack because the Europe pack is very, very good. Um, I could see some um, Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve streams for a few, at least to uh, look around. Yeah, at least to look around, see what kind of inspiration we get. Um, it'd be cool if we could kind of incorporate the chamber builds and stuff that SDN's doing. Cause not gonna lie here, let me show y'all. This is kind of turned into a hangout stream. So if you're not really into just like chilling and hanging out, I totally understand, go ahead and you know, do your thing. Um, but I've really, can y'all see that? Not yet. Uh, that really inspired me to want to do uh, my own kind of chamber builds. Here it is. So I kind of want to do that too. Oh, it just brings me to that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I found like this picture here. Here we go. I don't know how, how easy it is to see that, but um, basically what Estan did, you know, just in like a different kind of style or a different kind of inspiration. Because I think it was such a fun idea. Um, and yeah, it's it just suits him so well. Like, these are the kind of builds that, like, don't get me wrong, I love Estan's uh, zoo builds and habitat builds, but when you, if you give Estan, like, a 4x4 four four room or, like, an 8x8, eight eight, you know, box to build in and give him, like, yeah, just a, the smaller the area to give Estan to build in, the better, I feel. <laughs> so, but, uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm kind of getting into those kind of chamber builds, too, so I might uh, take a stab at it as well, and maybe we can make, like, a little, uh, we can make our own, um, what's it called, uh, I can't think. Our own diorama, like, boom. You know how everyone was trying to do dioramas? We can try and get the chamber builds to be the next uh, big thing there for the Planet Zoo Europe pack. I mean, we have this, the perfect pieces for it, right? So, yeah, we should all try and do chamber builds. Maybe that'd be a fun thing to set up. We could set up, like, a again, like a, an 8x8 box enclosed. Maybe a fun, like, competition. 8x8 box enclosed. And, um... Everyone has to, like, make a chamber out of it. Like a Harry Potter chamber or an, uh... Like, a, I was looking up, like, Arabic wizard chamber earlier, and it brought up some really cool things there, so... I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point, so... <laughs> You're concerned for those lions sharing a habitat with the hippos? I think the hippos are the only ones that need to be concerned right now. I think they're the only ones that need to be real concerned. I don't think the, the lions are too concerned about it. <laughs> they're just they're just licking their uh, chops and going, Mmm, dinner. Uh, but anyway, say hey, I'm going to go ahead and take off. I know we had a little bit of a shorter community showcase, but hopefully that is a challenge for everyone. Let's go ahead and get some builds submitted in uh, when you can there. Get some uh, zoos submitted. Um, again, if you want to get some chamber builds going, get some chambers uh, submitted in there. Um, but yeah, go ahead and submit your blueprints to the Discord there. Link, as always, is in the description down below, or I'm sure one of my lovely mods. Shout out to the mods, by the way, Seabris and silver fox and i guess s dan since he's here but he you know he's he's just hanging out <laughs> so but um but anyway shout out to the mods there but okay cool hey let's go ahead and uh, take off there if you haven't already um check out the uh planet zoo europe pack mini zoo episode two i uploaded that yesterday we expanded the town out a whole bunch and added in a badger habitat um the next episode up i think we're gonna do a follow deer field i think it'll be really cool to do a big old field and i think it's going to be in like a valley with a giant stone bridge uh going over top of it i've already started this bridge kind of going out from the city um into the forest area and, and someone mentioned follow deer and just right when they said that for whatever reason um it just hit me like a freaking bolt of lightning i was like i want to do a big sculpted out you know valley with really uh shallow grasses and maybe just like a few trees sprinkled here and there maybe like a little brook like a little stream right underneath of it and then i could just picture all these follow deer like you know um on it and then yeah big old uh like rock stone um bridge passing really 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 high above it i'm talking like almost like 10 stories kind of thing you know really really tall uh type look so i think that'll look really cool for the next episode i can i can see it and i'm pumped about it so i just have to build it now kind of thing so um but anyways yeah no yeah right harry no sex dungeons i mean unless that's what you're into but um i just won't show it off so anyways all right enough rambling i'm out of here y'all are awesome <laughs> hey happy new year hope uh hope you all had a fun new year's eve and everything <clears throat> hope you uh, you know, keep your um, your promises to yourself for the 2022. Try and last longer than uh, what is it? Six days. I think it's six or seven days is the average length um, to keep your um, 
to keep your promises and everything for for the new year so <laughs> awesome but hey uh, have a good one everyone and yeah we will see you all next sunday at 1 p.m central standard time for the next showcase have a good one